Hey, my name is Empire TTC. This is your boy, Mr. P-Town49. Back again with another video. And we got the fucking Arizona Cardinals this week. A.K.A. the Arizona Retardinals. A.K.A. the Tards. Coming off this big win against the Texans on Sunday Night Football. Uh, man, this is ass whooping. Texans fans are going crazy. Fucking got fans going to Matt Shop's house, harassing his family. And to you, man, to you fucking Texans fans that are doing that shit, y'all niggas ain't no real fans. Y'all just need to turn in you guys' fan card, man, because that's, that's fucked up. That's some bullshit. But anyway, this ain't about the Texans. This is about the fucking Tardinals. And uh, I'm on my PlayStation right now. And I'm looking at Cattle Dog video, so. Excuse me for a minute while I, while I play his video and see what the fuck he got to say. Oh, don't think it hasn't, you know. You, you may, you know, have the upper hand as of late. But, you know, any given Sunday. And this is how I would be. The 49ers this coming up Sunday. How he will beat the 49ers you know, on Sunday. Let's hear this. I'd stack the box for damn sure. Stack the box don't mean shit against Frank sure Gore. That, uh, Mr. Gore. Don't pause this shit. Stack the box don't mean shit against Frank Gore. If Frank Gore was seeing eight in the box when Alex Smith was the quarterback back in the day. Because we didn't have no fucking offense. That's back when Alex Smith was struggling. And shit, they tried to do this, that shit this past week against the Texans. They tried to stack the box. Frank Gore still went what over 70 yards. He could have had 100, but you know with the offense we run, we kind of uh, switch it up a little bit. A little bit of Kendall Hunter, a little bit of LaMichael James. So yeah, saying and doing is two different things. It's you know easier said than done. But yeah, let's finish hearing what the fuck you gotta say. And that wham blocking fucking scheme he got doesn't get off. Because I don't think Cap can beat us. I don't think that Cap can beat us with his arm. Okay. You're saying you don't think Cap can beat beat you guys with his arm? The only reason you're saying that, and this is this is some real shit, is because our star receiver is banged up right now. He's coming back. Best believe that. And I think he'll be back just in time for you know, play the second game against you guys. And the toaster. But yeah, the only reason why you're saying that is because Crabtree's banged up. If Crabtree was 100% healthy right now, you'd be shaking in your boots right now. And that's real shit because Crabtree owns Patrick Peterson. And that's real shit. I don't know why the NFL is overhyping Patrick Peterson. He's nice. Don't get me wrong, but... He ain't no fucking Deion Sanders. And I don't even think he's the top cornerback in the league right now. That distinction goes to Richard Sherman. So, yeah. If our receiving core was 100% right now, you'd be shaking your boots. Because it's like last year, Crabtree fucking raped you guys. Fucking raped your secondary. So, yeah. I don't know with the video. You got one receiver, and that's Vernon Davis. And, uh, you know, he ain't even been doing all that much. I mean, he's, he's been coming back from getting hurt. You know, and you got shit for wide receivers. Uh, you got Bolden. You know, Bolden's old, and he can... Okay, I'm calling Bolden's old. But he still manages, you know, to do his thing. You know, we've been on a little slump lately, but I think he's gonna I think he's gonna come out this week. Cause uh one thing about Anquan Bowling, he's physical. And I think he can out muscle your cornerbacks. I really think he can. So I expect, you know, I wouldn't say a monster game, but I expect him to make an impact in this game on Sunday, as well as Vernon Davis, because I don't give a fuck how fast Daryl Washington is. He ain't faster than Vernon Davis. And 
that's a fact. So yeah, let's finish watching this video real quick. No beast at times, but he's not as consistent as he was when he was an Arizona Cardinal. And the rest of your receivers are just straight trash, you know. I mean. Oh yeah, don't don't sleep on uh John Baldwin because he could have an impact too because uh. He's a real tall corner. I mean, not corner, but he's a real tall receiver. Six foot four, two hundred thirty pounds. So, I expect him to make more of an impact than he did against the Texans. I was hoping that he would come out during the Texan game, but you know, he's still getting familiar with the offense and stuff like that. So, you know, he might have an impact in this game because I don't think any of your cornerbacks are above maybe six foot. I think Patrick Peterson's what six foot, maybe six foot one. I'm not sure, but I think Anquan Bolden and John Baldwin can make an impact in this game as well as Vernon Davis. So yeah. Mm. So you know, if I was the coach of the Cardinals, I would stack the box. Like I said, easier sure said than done, but Frank Gore don't get but forty something yards. Hopefully on 24 carries. Frank Gore is getting more than 40 yards. Sorry, buddy. And I'd make Kaepernick fucking beat us. And I don't think he can. And it's just okay. like with Scam Newton last week, you know? Put a lot of pressure on the motherfucker, and when he goes to take off, have Darrell Washington sitting back there in the spy mode and fucking run his ass down. Because Cap ain't faster than Darrell Washington. He's the fastest linebacker in the NFL. And Cam Newton ain't faster than Cap. That's proven. Uh, Cam Newton, I think Cam Newton, if I'm not mistaken, Cam Newton and Kaepernick was in the same draft class. And uh, Kaepernick had one of the fastest, if not the fastest 40 in that draft class. So, yeah, he uh, Cam Newton might not be faster than Darrell Washington, but... Kaepernick got some speed, and if he can get into the open field, he's gone. Scam Newton found that out several times when he tried to run away from that fucker, and D. Watts drug his ass to the ground for two sacks. You know, our defense is for real. You know, y'all can think we're trash, and you know that's all good. Sleep on us, sleep on us. All right, all right, enough of you. Um, this video is going on eight minutes. So, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do to beat you guys. We're going to run the ball. That's our bread and butter. That's what our offense is known for. Um, I'd like to see a little play action off the run. Get uh, our wide receivers open. Vernon Davis, Anquan Bolden, John Baldwin. Get them open. You know, get into the red zone. Score. Um, defensive side of the ball, we got to find some way to generate some pressure because I think our last game we only generated two sacks. Pressure's got to be there, man. We got to get in Carson Palmer's face, disrupt his timing. Um, yeah, pretty much get in his face, disrupt his timing. Um, you guys' run game ain't shit. I don't care what the fuck you say about uh, the running backs you guys have, uh, Mendenhall. And that other kid, I think his name is Ellington or something like that. But yeah, you guys ain't running against us. We're going to make you guys one-dimensional. Generation pass rush, get the Paul, Carson Palmer, force him to throw it before he wants to. Create some turnovers, maybe some forced fumbles. Um, so yeah, um, and you guys want to talk about our receivers. Besides Larry Fitzgerald, who the fuck do you guys have? Andre Roberts? Ain't shit. Um, Michael Floyd ain't shit. They haven't done shit this whole year. So we're not the only ones that are not really potent at the wide receiver position. So yeah. Um this can this should be an easy win. We're at home. I expect our home crowd to be loud as fuck, just like we were against the Texans. You know, take you guys out of the game early. Um I expect our secondary to be better. It's been a hell of a lot better since Namde hasn't been in the lineup. It's been uh, Carlos Rogers, Terrell Brown, 
and uh, Jermaine Brock at the uh, at the nickel. So yeah, our secondary has improved. Dante Whitner has been better, way better this year in coverage. Um, Eric Reed's been doing his thing. So yeah, expect an L this Sunday and half my fucking crow. That's about all I have. Um, I've been kind of kind of down and out when it comes to this editing thing. I don't know what it is. Every time I upload a video, it says it's not available on mobile. So, you know, I've kind of been discouraged from making videos a little bit. But, you know, I'm going to try to stay in this thing. Be here from here on out. Um, shout out to my Niner fam. Everybody in the Niner Empire on YouTube, Twitter. Shout out to everybody on Twitter that follows me. And, you know, this is your boy, Mr. P-Town49. From P-Town all the way to the Bay. 49 Faith all day. I'm out. Peace.